This is the futuristic car called the Hi-Fi Z. I'm gonna show you something really cool, but also how beautiful is this? We're at the Etihad Museum. Check this out. I'm not doing anything. I should clap after that. That was insane. So let's start off at the front. First off, you've got these custom LED light displays, which means you can completely customize the car to your mood or the message you're trying to send out to different passengers. So we've got angry eyes, we've got love hearts. There's even a baby bottle for baby on board. There's a searching eyes. So if you're like searching for parking, you can put that on. So because it's an electric car, what they've done with the front is they've made active grille shutters, which open and close to help reduce drag. So we've got 22 inch wheels and this is actually the world's first soft rubber insert over the wheel that protects the forged alloy wheels inside. Also, weighted centre cap, pretty cool. On top of the car there's this black, almost round shaped thing and that's where the LiDAR is. That's more autonomous driving. On the side we've got a lot going on, there's another camera that's sticking out. And the reason Hi-Fi has made it stand out is so that you get more visibility on your surroundings. On the side of our car, we've got a mirror, but we've also got two cameras. Let's just look at it from the side because the shape is like a shooting brake and it's five meters long. NFC, you guys might be wondering what that's for. And that's because apart from the key, you get this really cool card and look what happens when I tap it. Whoa! We get a light show. Okay, how cool is that? I've seen this on concept cars, but I've never seen the side of the car light up on an actual production car. And something even cooler, right under here, this is another way to open it. Press the button. And it goes red and the door opens. Once again, we've got another camera sitting on top. And then this is our manual or automatic spoiler. So if you're going above 80 kilometers per hour, it automatically comes out, but you can also manually operate it. Once again, another two cameras hidden under the hi-fi sign. And then full LED light display that I want to show you. So once again, just like the front, you can put your own personality at the back. You can put the heart, the angry eyes, so the person at the back knows that you're not the biggest fan of them. So there's not that much boot space in here, but what you can do is these buttons on the side, give it a push, and the back seats fold down. So the moment I've been waiting for, I want to show you guys inside. Okay, let's check it out. So first off, the seats. We've got Napa leather, but it's got this holographic type detail to it with this purple accent. And that also goes into the seat belt as well, which is pretty cool. But the first thing I noticed is that there's no gauge cluster at all. There's a heads-up display, but no gauge cluster, and that's because everything is controlled by our 15-inch screen. And look what happens when I change my seat position. It moves with me. Oh. It's moving back as I move forward. Okay, I've never seen that in a car before, ever. My door's open right now. If I decide I want to close it halfway. I think the theory behind this was if you're in a parking space and you've parked and you can't actually open the doors all the way, you can decide exactly how far you want to open them so that you don't hit anything next to you, which is really cool. So everything in this car is controlled by the screen. This is all 
the things you can do to the light. So you've got the angry eyes, you've got the love heart, and then you can actually project something on the side of the car. So we put a little message for you guys on the side. So I came across them on the internet. They seem pretty cool. You guys should check it out, follow them. So the steering wheel looks really unique. It reminds me of a PlayStation control system where you just control everything. We've got our two little levers. If you press them in once, check what it does. You can change your driving modes, sport, custom, snow. That's pretty cool. Right over here, we have our charging pad, and this is for our key, because it needs to be charged, and it lights up red, and it'll go green once it's fully charged. Down here, we've got our energy crystal gear shift, which allows you to change your gears in a very fancy way. And we've got a digital mirror, but that's because we have no back window at all. So the only way you're seeing through the back is through your cameras, but we do have a glass roof. Lights. So in the back, we've got our screen right over here. Swipe up, you can control your AC, you can control your seat position, and you can control your music. I love that there's tech in this car that I've never ever seen before in any other production model, but not only that, it's really high quality, the seats, the material, and it's the second most expensive car to come out of China with costing just under $100,000. Let's take it for a drive. Okay, so we've got our door close button on the side. Cool purple seat belt on. Let's put it into drive. And what's cool is there's no start or stop button. The minute you open the car, it goes on. So let's go. Now you can see me on the road. So it's got 672 horsepower, zero to 100 in 3.8 seconds. And range wise, it's got 600 and 55 kilometers on one single charge. And if I press this button on the steering wheel, I can change modes. And put my indicators on, get a nice little light on the steering wheel. Now I've seen ambient light in cars, but never like this before. Our full side panel, the front, look at the side with the light. The back looks like there's a party happening there. Thank you so much to Q Motors for lending us this car. If you guys want to buy it, click the link below. And big shout out to Etihad Museum for letting us film in this beautiful location. I'm out.